we're going to look at some of the palmas patterns that are really important and which will translate into your right hand patterns, right? There's basically these rhythmic elements that we need to internalize so that we can play bulerias without counting and thinking about every single little thing we do. Uh, and I think that learning the palmas patterns is really the best way to start. So the obvious one is the pattern that you probably already know from Solea or Solea por Bulería or Alegrías, which is 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right? Notice that I start on 12, right on the downbeat of 12, and I'm just hitting my accents. 12, 3, 6, 8, 10. Just 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We end on 10, right? In bulerías, in general, we're starting on 12, we're ending on 10. Very soon we'll see a few exceptions to that, but that's really what we're gonna do most of the time. So now I'm gonna add some backing tracks to our palmas. And for the backing tracks, I'm gonna use the Flamenco Explained Compass app, which is simply called Compass. And it's an iOS app that's really simple and we love. And you'll actually see it up here so you can see the numbers as I'm doing the palmas. You'll be able to hear and see what's going on. We're at 180 beats per minute, but that really doesn't matter. I don't want you to worry too much. I'm just telling you that information you know, in case that's useful. But really, any tempo that feels right for now is the tempo you should be working at. So we've got 12, 3, 6, 8, 10. 12, 3, 6, 8, 10. 12, 3, 6, 8, 10. 12, 3, 6, 8, 10. So what I recommend is just doing this until it feels natural, until you're not confused, until you kind of feel where you are. And what I want you to be feeling for is the difference between the first half, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is a three feel, right? It's like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And the second half, which is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, right? So three feel, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2 feel, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 12, 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 10, 12, 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 10. And eventually, you're going to think more about the numbers of the accents than about every single beat. It just makes counting easier. So the next pattern that we're going to do, very similar, but it feels different. Uh, and really, all we're doing is we're replacing the accent of 6 for an accent of 7. Right, so now this first half of the compass is the same. We have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We don't do an accent on 6, but then we do do accents on 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? So we have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to put on the compass again, just so you can hear this. Twelve, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. To me, seven, eight, nine, ten feels like it's driving towards that ten a little harder than six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But that's a personal thing, right? However, it feels to you, you know is how it feels to you. But the really important thing is to feel the difference between 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So our, next, our first assignment is gonna be, after we've gotten used to each of these patterns, is to alternate the two patterns so that we're really comfortable going back and forth between 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right? Two variations of the same thing. I'm going to put on the compass and we're just going to alternate the two for a minute. 12, 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 10, 12, 3, 7, 8, 10, 12, 3, 6, 8, 10, 12, 1, 2, 3, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. A little note on the seven, eight, nine, ten. It's just as common to do seven, eight, nine, ten as it is to do seven, eight, nine, ten. So that nine is kind of optional. Uh, I wouldn't call it an accent, but you can give it a stronger palma or a less strong one. So you could have seven, eight, nine, ten, or seven, eight, nine, ten. Both work completely interchangeably. So the next element that we're going to look at for compas is starting on one instead of twelve. Right? In general, almost everyone will agree that buleria starts on 12, but there are a lot of moments in a buleria where we do start on one, and that's a very important rhythmic element. Uh, and the trickiest part, really, for most people beginning to learn starting on one, is that we get used to either 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, or 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, right? We get used to that strong 12 as a downbeat. When we're starting on one, what we're doing is we're taking away the 12 and doing one, two, three. Right? So it's a different drive towards the three. In both cases, we're doing 12, one, two, three, or 12, one, two, three. Very similar, but they feel different. They'll feel different in the palmas, but also when we pick up the guitar, you'll see they feel even more different and they're a little tricky. So if you get the palmas patterns, it will be much easier when we pick up the guitar. So. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Starting on 1 doesn't affect what happens later on. So I could also do 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 12, 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 10. Right, so I'm going to put on the backing compass. We're going to do this again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. Six, eight, ten. One, two, three. Six, eight, ten. One, two, three. Six, eight, ten. Or one, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your next assignment is going to be to mix and match all four possibilities that we've looked at, right? The first two possibilities start on 12, 12, one, two, three, four, five, and then either six, eight, ten, or mm, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the next two are the same second halves, but with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so we have four possible patterns, and we're going to go through all of them right now. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve, one, two, three, six, eight, ten. Twelve, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, six, eight, ten, twelve, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was all four patterns. I'm going to do them again. Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, six, eight, ten, twelve, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what we've just learned is something that I've taken to calling the four elements because one of these realizations that I've had over the years of teaching buleria so much is that rhythmically there are really four basic elements to a buleria. There's the 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? I think of that as a three feel because it's really 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is a two feel. Right, one, two, one, two, one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, then there's the mm, seven, eight, nine, ten, or mm, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, and then the final element is twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, instead of twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, really, four elements, and 
The interesting thing about these four elements is that really any one of them can be used and repeated as a six beat phrase. Right? So you'll hear people talk about how buleria should be thought about in sixes, not twelves. It's a little controversial. It's a little regional. You know, it depends how you learned it. Uh, but if you want to think about buleria as in sixes, any one of these patterns can be repeated so that I could do 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? So the first three six beat things I did we're just 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I could actually repeat that longer. I could take the second half, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? I can think of it as 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 every time, or I can think of it as 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is getting a little confusing, but it's more important to feel what I'm talking about here. So. Right? That was a two compass phrase, and all I really did was what feels to me like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Technically, you could argue that what I really was doing was 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You'd be absolutely right. How I count it, it is important, right? I can count it a lot of different ways because at the end of the day, I'm really just feeling a buleria. I've been playing this music for, you know, well over half my life, um, well over 30 years. So for me, it feels natural first and then I go back and count it you're gonna to wanna to start understanding as much as feeling in the beginning. So, which makes more sense to you? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This might be a little advanced, a little confusing, but the bottom line is that these elements that I'm talking about can all be repeated, right? So I could even do 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, right? You don't even have to think about it too much. You start to feel that pattern, right? And even 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? Whether or not you fully understand what I'm talking about here, hopefully, each one of these elements starts to feel like its own thing. And if you practice the way we've been talking about, so take the four elements, start 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Start again, 12, 1, 2, 3, Right? If you go through these permutations of the compas, you'll start to really have control over these six-beat phrases which add up to your 12-beat compases which add up to bulerias.